Hello and welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be talking about pumpkins. It is getting close to Halloween. It's just a week away, okay? People already have their animatronics and everything out. And up there at my job, same thing. They got this one particular animatronic. It is called the scary care, no, the, the creepy care, caretaker. The thing is cool, but it runs on batteries. And it literally dies down after a couple hours because it's a big prop. I don't know why these just don't have it plugged in or something like that. Or make them so you can plug them in instead of that battery operated stuff. But anyway, it's a very cool uh, prop and it makes sound effects. It rises up past the tombstone and all that good stuff. But anyway, long story short, let's talk about the Halloween props that come from Trick or Treat Studios that are based on the movies. Now this one here is from the 1978 movie. And I also have yet another one of the same nature, which I'm just going to hold it because these things are big. Okay. Now the story with these are, is I uh, ordered the one, the 1978 one. And it's, you normally would come in, it'd be on the porch. You say, oh, okay. But I seen two boxes on the porch. And I'm like, what the hell is this other box for? I only ordered one of these, right? So I opened up the one. Obviously, it was the the pumpkin. And then I opened up the other box. It was the same pumpkin. So they sent me two of them, but they only charged me one. So, shh, don't tell nobody. Our little secret, okay? But anyway, I got two of these bad boys from the 1978 movie. These do, in themselves, do light up. And I'm going to show you what they look like in a second here. Okay, the only reason I'm showing you all the pumpkins is because I just got the newest one in. And I'm going to show you what that one looks like in a second. Okay, the, the stump. Or stub, or what do you want to call it? Stem. Okay. It's made of a rubberized plastic, so it's very durable. It does have a switch on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to turn this one on. Ah. There we go. And it's not lit. Now hang on for a second here. There it is. It's a little stubborn there, guys. You see the light? Now the newest one does have a tendency to flicker where these don't flicker. Uh, they just stay lit, but I think they're pretty cool. Okay. Turn that one off. Show you the other 1978 and see if that one still works. Because I got these like six months ago. Yep, there we go. As you can see, okay. These are exact same things. They're good to light up during Halloween. On Halloween night, I usually light up everything in my room, and I'm wall-to-wall -wall Halloween and horror. So this one here is from The Curse of Michael Myers. Alright, you'll notice that it does have speckles all over the pumpkin. Okay. And it's got an evil, wicked look. I kind of cut my uh, pumpkins. I carve them every year. Uh, they look very similar to these guys here, especially in the mouth part. Okay, so the stem is a little different, obviously. Now, these are from Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, yeah that's lit, but it's, you can barely see it. Okay. Turn it off. Anyway, again, made of durable plastic. Okay. Now, this one here is from the 2018 movie, and you'll notice that it is completely different than the other ones. It doesn't have a truly evil look about it because it's got hearts in its eyes. Okay. Right. Now we're gonna get the tag out of the way so you can see up inside. Hang on. Right there. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. It's kind of hard. Maybe the lights just throw them in off a little bit. All right. The stem is different than the other ones too. It's got a more natural earthy look to it. Again, this is a harder plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and you're going to see a flicker. That's it. It flickers. See that? This is the only one out of those uh, pumpkins that does flicker. I'm sure you can switch these lights out and get the flickery ones. Which I think would be cooler, in my opinion. To see them flicker. It's like a real candle. Okay. I'm get that out of the way. Okay. You can see the mouth is shaped a little bit different. Like I said, it's a little bit more natural in carvings. Okay, it doesn't have a truly evil look about it. Okay, there's no speckles on this one at all. Okay, 
Again on the bottom, same thing. Okay, you can pull these out. You just gotta pull the tape off and switch them out. I'm sure there's a way you can do it, but I haven't really tried, so I don't know. But anyway, that's a 2018 pumpkin. I'm just gonna let it sit right there for you. And in the meantime, uh, there is rumors that uh, Miramax Films, which does hold the copyrights to the Halloween franchise in itself, except for the TV series, um, they just recently got those copyrights, so they're most likely going to be pushing out some TV uh, shows that are based on Michael Myers or Halloween in themselves. So that's the newest thing, and that's the reason why Merrimax uh, Films end up getting the copyrights to the uh, the TV franchise in itself. Okay, so they're going to start pushing out some new uh, TV shows. So, plus we're going to get a reboot of the film in itself. Now, in the 2018 Halloween Ends, he did in fact die. Uh, as far as we know because you've seen them grind it up, but it's most likely if they do something like that uh, For him to come back uh, It's probably going to be a different body that was grounded up and they hid Michael Myers somewhere else who the hell knows I'm sure they'll come up with something stupid When it comes to the, uh, the actual Halloween franchise in itself, it is not my all-time favorite Though it is storyline. They got some really good stories. They're better they're better crafted script wise when it comes better than uh, Friday the 13th in my opinion. Friday the 13th in itself is a little campy, but Jason is he's the shit. Okay, uh, he obviously is supernatural. Michael Myers is not. Michael Myers technically is still human, as you've seen in the, uh, that 2018, uh, not the 18 movie, but the 2021 movie. It was a 22. Anyway, when he got grounded up, he wasn't so uh, supernatural. But he might come back supernatural. You never know. Because he finally died. Okay? Uh, but anyway, it is a good movie uh, franchise. Don't get me wrong. As you can see, I do collect quite a bit. Jason, I got like maybe almost 20 of the masks. Okay? I do a lot of the uh, do-it-yourself, just like Big Hush does. He does a fantastic job on his masks. He'll stand here and take some of the... Um, uh, the cheap um, molded ones and turn around and craft them into some pretty sharp looking masks. So I do like uh, Friday the 13th a little bit better because it is um, a little bit more interesting to me when it comes to his killing. Okay, because he is vicious when it comes to killing. He's more vicious than Michael Myers. Because he has, he's how bent on chopping you up into little pieces. Uh, Hellraiser is my all time favorite franchise. And always will be. The new movie that came out based on Hellraiser with the female uh, Cenobite. That was very cool the way they handled that. I like the movie in itself. But anyway, this is my collection so far when it comes to the actual pumpkins based on the movies themselves. I'm sure they're going to be coming out with some new ones. Okay, so look forward to that. I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video.